Good. What we're talking about today, what happened a couple weeks ago? It was your first batter. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, well, you're trying to cover first base, right? And what happened? You just kind of tweaked something, or what were you feeling? Yeah, I mean, um, it happened before that. So we're doing warm-up pitches, and the second pitch of the warm-ups, um, I just landed funny, just slipped a little bit going down the mound, and something in my back just didn't feel right. Um, you know, I mean, it's a bummer. No matter what way you look at it, it's, it's a... It's a loss for the team, but I kind of put it on myself. I couldn't do my job for them, and I'm supposed to be that guy on Fridays. So I felt really bad about it. But, you know, we got the doctors look at it. They really said it was probably coming down to just, you know, hot day dehydration, muscle spasm. So, um, you know, we took care of it. I mean, it was disappointing, especially when the rain came, and then we didn't even get to play the game, and now we're basically starting from scratch the next day. But, um, you know, it was minor, but in the moment, like, I could, could barely walk. You know, running to first base felt like... I had someone sticking a nice pick in my back, so I'm like, I'll just, I'll stay on the ground, let someone else come pick me up, you know. A little bit tough of a situation. So how did it feel going out there tonight, your first action since then? Yeah, I mean, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was thinking about it for the past couple of days, just because it's coming back, you know, you get a little concerned because you're going back to where you just got injured, right on the mound. Um, you're going at a full intent. I did do a bullpen before I actually obviously went into the game and then earlier in the week. So I had done some stuff, but not at, the intensity that I was going for for this game, uh, but it was it was a great feeling, more so than a concerned feeling. Um, you know, the first batter, I think there was a lot of jitters coming back, even though it's only been a couple days. There's always just kind of like that that angst and that excitement. So it was kind of after that batter really just settling down and just treating like any other start. I knew you were going to be limited today, just kind of easing you back with no love. Backers, mom, obviously they want to get you back on the weekend, potentially Friday if you're feeling good. So did you accomplish what you wanted to in the limited time you were out there today? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, we, we talked about some things after the first inning, uh, Coach Adi and I, and um, second inning coming out there, once we really got into it, um, there were some things I could tell my body was slowly getting more and more comfortable. And I think as, you know, I go through this week, making it a regular schedule again with our lifts, my throwing schedule, doing my arm care, um, not it being more so centered around my back. I think I'll be back to, you know, I feel 100%, but I feel like on the field I'll be even, you know, better once I get back. And, you know, the plan for us as of now is Friday for me, so hopefully I can just stay on that path. Hunter Patterson, you know, had exited the game with an injury as well. Last night I think we heard something was going on with Litch. So, uh, so considering what's, how, you, how long, you know, how far this season's been and, you know, getting beat up a little bit, what do you think you guys need to do in order to kind of bounce back and keep the end maybe? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's obviously tough. Like, we got our three starters on predicaments, and thankfully, I'm moving out of mine at a good uh, rate. Um, I don't know enough about Lich's situation, and I know Hunter's is, he's got a couple weeks where he's just got to work back into things slowly. So it's tough, but I think from the team perspective, it, like, we just can't, we can't lose hope in stuff. We can't lose hope in our hitting. We can't lose hope in our pitching. Obviously, defensively, we're trying to work some things out. It's really tough because we lost Roe, you know, and every week we're starting to feel a little more and more, especially having a big bat like that in the lineup. It's hard to put someone in to fill his shoes. But um, as long as we stay confident with what we're doing, there's a lot of games left this year. We went on a skid. I think this win was huge for our morale to come back out. You know, we got Florida Atlantic this week and then a big game against USF starting conference. So this win was huge, and I just think it's, it's staying on top of one another, just making sure that, you know, we're all confident in what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, on that note, is it good to kind of have a clean slate now? You know, maybe the last couple of weeks haven't gone the way the way you guys wanted, but mm -hmm. you got conference play. Everyone's 0-0. You yep. know, you're coming back healthy, hopefully. So is that good to kind of now, hey, guys, we can, we can focus on conference play. And this is going to – I know this will be your first time playing these guys, mm -hmm. but this is a rival series coming up as well. Yeah, uh, I think for the guys it's huge that's 0-0. I mean, obviously, you know, we are at one point 11-3. It's tough, you know, watching kind of those, those games just slowly accumulate to now us being 14-10. and 10, But – we're still 14 and 10. We haven't dropped off the side of the earth. We got a lot of games left and it being a rivalry game, you know, we're going to have a ton of fans every single game. The guys are going to be amped up. And even though I'm not from here, but as soon as someone tells you that this specific opponent's your rival, like you have, it's as if I've been here my whole life and I've always wanted to beat them. So I can't wait to get out there. Who was Maryland's rival uh, in the Big Ten? It varied. It was like Penn State and Michigan for the most part. It wasn't like a super natural no, there wasn't geographic like rival. One team. Uh, typically, it was Michigan, though. Okay. Like, we did not like Michigan my two years there. But <laughs> thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. it. Thanks.